Greetings everyone, this is D22 with you today from D22 Responses with another how to use video. Now a lot of subscribers wanted to know how to edit in Windows Movie Maker because Movie Maker is like the basic software that everything comes with in Windows 7. What I mean to say is, is that Windows Movie Maker is always going to be there. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Windows Live Movie Maker and we're going to show you some techniques on how to cut videos. So. You've probably seen the last video that I made on the how to use guideline, but this is going to be a editing guideline on how to edit in Windows Movie Maker if you don't understand it. So what we're going to do is we're going to first add our videos and photos into the mix and then we're just going to, we're just, I'm just going to go step by step on how to cut certain things and just edit certain transitions. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this Saber footage for example. Like I didn't really edit this yet but I'm just importing the movie as an example. So this movie is about 55 seconds long. As you can see that's the end of the movie. So, what I would like to do, and most people would like to do this, is to cut certain scenes out. So, what you would do is that you would go to your timeline here and just look to see if the length matches up. So then, what you would do is you would look to where it says... Let me check. Let me take a look here, because I've never edited in the live movie maker before. <laughs> go to edit, I think. And then use the trim tool and then what it needs you what you can do in the trim tools you can set a start point like this and then an end point like this so we're gonna use another example because this movie file is too short so we're gonna cancel and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add another video here let's just say my memes video so we're gonna delete that from the timeline and this is going to be our new video this is at least two minutes 24 seconds long so that that's my completed video that's one video that I recently edited so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the edit tool and we're gonna trim it so let's say that I just want to start here so what will happen is is that it won't cue to my friend Devin there but it'll queue over to just me. And then you can set the end point as well to here. That's one thing that you can do. So, so you can set the end point there so that it trims it to that point. So, so you need to have at least more than one video in order to start it. So usually the split tool would be highlighted here, but it's not for some reason. Why is that? Why would split video not be highlighted? Because it needs to reach a certain point. So what you would do is you would split the video and then it and then it cuts it off right there. So it basically split the clip from where I started and you can just split it again and split it again. So that is mainly how you split scenes so that you can get rid of like you know the sort of mumbling or deaf silence that you want to go through so you can do really good jump cuts that way you can just split your scene and do your really good editing and jump cuts there so you can use the trim tool to trim out certain parts or the split tool to split out certain scenes and what you can also do is you can normalize your volume by going into a slow fade in So you can do a slow fade in for that. You probably heard that or you probably did not. I don't think you did, but you can do a slow fade in and then at the end you can do a fast fade out where the volume will like turn all the way down really quickly at the end of the video. So that is what is meant by fade in and fade out. And you can also set background color if you like as well for certain parts of the video. Like if you don't have like full motion video, you can just we'll just delete these scenes we're just gonna use these as examples we're we know how to split scenes now I just showed you that so we're gonna add more video let's just add the same thing again now for background color I don't think you can do that for non videos what what it means is that you can just adjust it to however you want but the background color I think is for just generally title videos so you go to video tools 
and then you can edit the background color. Yeah, you have to set a background or a picture to allow yourself to do the background color because this is just for text. So, and then you can do the text tool thing, and you can enter your text here and type in whatever you want, like. I'm made of olives or something like that and then the title will appear and then what you can do is you can set the fonts to however you want if you have a certain font package like I do I can just make the fonts however I want so let's say I'm made of olives is this size so that way you can do whatever you want and it's pretty cool and then you can set your own transitions your transparency your bold your italic you can set your font color to yellow and you can also set the uh, spacing the, si the font size in these two little buttons and the paragraph spacing justified center align text right align text left you know the whole drill and then you can also set a start time for it and this text duration will be like five seconds and then that's the standard transition that it will generally come with but you can also set it to something else. You can just highlight a transition and you can preview it. So let's say fly in, fly in left, spin out. Like for example this is like a exit transition. So let's click on spin out. So what you can do here is it'll spin out at the end of the transition you can go spin in or stretch in or spin in there and then that's your standard fade and none and you can also go down the list to set it but normally it doesn't have a lot to offer it has the zoom in thing but other than that that's all I could really offer and tell you at this point so most of the time you're limited to what the movie maker has so that normally is how you set transitions and make your own text and you can also set transparency here so you can click on transparency and you can set it really low or really high so as you can see it blends with the background and you can also set the start time and edit text duration like how long it'll last for like five seconds ten seconds fifteen seconds and so on so this only lasts for five seconds right now and you can also set the fonts uh... normally coalition is not a normal font that's in windows seven i downloaded this off defont.com and i have a lot of fonts here that tell you all about just how you can just put in various texts so that normally is a general guideline of how you can edit your videos and how to split scenes and how to add text and backgrounds we're gonna go a little bit more you can also set the thumbnail size for the video previews that you want to use. You can use large icons for extra large icons if you want to see it, that sort of thing. And then this is just a preview of how it goes about. Then you can set aspect ratio. We've already gone through this. And you can also do visual effects. But uh, we're going to delete this right now so that we can show you the visual effects that we can put on here. So what we'll do is we'll just add another video again and then we'll just can't get enough of me, huh? Anyways, we're gonna go visual effects and then let's just go threshold. Before you put the effect in, it will allow you to preview it. So let's say for example there's no effect and then there's the edge detection, posterize, threshold, black and white, black and white orange filter, black and white red filter, black and white yellow filter, you won't really see a difference but what you can do is it just look the same so let's take a look at one of the filters now this is an orange filter so it filters out certain colors you probably notice the differences here you, you probably may not notice differences but it filters out red and orange and other colors so this is a cyan tone cyan meaning blue sepia tone mirror horizontal and various effects like there's a whole there's a whole spectrum of effects here like hue pixelate there's a it doesn't really look any different like 360 spin and warp so those are the effects that you can apply onto your clip so there's also a fade out to black and those are just the simple effects that you can put in now 
some people tell me that they are not able to import certain file types. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to where it says home and then add videos and photos and what we'll do is it can usually import certain videos and photos and then you can go to all files if it's not able to recognize it. So let's just say we go to all files and then we can see all files there. But it just depends on the proper codecs that Windows Live Movie Maker needs to run. Like, for example, the defaults are WMV or AVI or any other format. But what we can do, we're going to try MP4. Because MP4 is not usually a format that runs, but it ran this time. So we're just going to remove it. You can format, you can uh, render, or you can import any video format actually. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, if there's problems with the importing of the video, like if you recorded it like off a of screen capture or fraps or something, usually, excuse me, usually that would be the case because if you use a screen recorder and the footage may be too big or it may not be recognized then that probably could be the reason why it's not importing properly so it just depends on what software that you use to record it and the format that it comes out with so other than that that's that's all I can say I never really had that issue so I don't really know how to answer those kinds of questions so you can finish off at the end by entering your credits let's say credits for making a sandwich and then you can add Domingo and then girl and then boob or Bob or, yeah I know how to spell boob and then George and Leroy then Simon and then Tutter something like that and then those will appear in your credits and those are the end credits for your movie so you can d do whatever you want with it and you can set the duration same as setting a beginning video that's what you can do and those are the basics of editing in Windows Live Movie Maker so if I missed anything feel free to let me know but it's straightforward there's not really much else to do but oh animations the animations are just another way of animating transitions. I mean, this is the same thing. It's like it's just adding transitions. So what you do is we're gonna add a new video to this. So let's just delete that. Boom 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 okay and we're gonna use my intro video. My sweet intro videos or outro video. So what you can do is you're gonna go animations and then you will go crossfade. Let's let's go pixelate. So you double click on the you, you single click the transition that you want to select. So what you do is after you single click the one you want, you press play and then it'll show it to you. Now, my my intro is cool enough as it is, so it really doesn't need a transition, but this is what you would do if you want to use like a really funky transition. And this is like the that's like the pixelate transition and it only lasts a second. So you can set the time for the transition to however you want. You can set it for two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. It doesn't really matter. As long as you know where the transition will lie, it should be good. Then you can also set the pan and zoom for certain things. I don't know why pan and zoom is not highlighted there, but it usually would be. So you can set pan and zoom to whatever clip you want. Let's just import another clip, for example. Let's just go back and import uh, something that I recently did. So let's just go back here, yeah. And then you go to animations, transitions, pan and zoom. Yeah, because the transition that's here is usually the first thing at the beginning, but for the scenes after, you see this little triangle here? It basically sets the transition at the beginning of the next scene. I don't know if you caught all that, but it just did like a quick wipe to my video. So what you would do next for the pan and zoom, I'm not sure why that's not highlighted, but what you can do is you can also do inline splitting here. So let's say that you want to go to a certain part that you don't want. Like say I don't want this part. You would right click on that part and then you would go to split. And then it would split that point. And then vice versa with the same thing. So you would just scroll here or you can just scroll 
anywhere you want basically you can just drag this little thing to where you want to go and then you can split it <laughs> that's a funny picture that a friend made for me it's an awesome picture though anyways yeah you would just take the black line with your finger there and then you would just scroll to the part that you want and then right click and then split or you could probably press the S key Alt S the S key doesn't split it, so you would right click and split. <laughs> so that's how you would split clips. And that's how your video is sorted because your timeline is bigger because of the size of the icons that we set. Now, if this if any of this doesn't make sense at all, then feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to explain it because there's a lot that I don't know about Windows Movie, Windows Live Movie Maker because I don't use this a lot. So I'm pretty oblivious to this basic software because I use high-end software. And the reason I use high-end software is because I do high-end videos. And this is basically for people that want to do simple transitions and simple stuff if they don't have the money to get Sony Vegas or Adobe After Effects. So this is just one way of me just allowing for more of a spectrum of softwares to be looked over. So other than that, that'll be it for now. So thank you very much for watching this how-to video. And if you like this, leave a thumbs up and also favorite it if you want to keep this video for information purposes and if you want to let your friends know about this. It really means a lot to me if you watch this video and gave it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel a lot. So thank you very much. Get Fueled for Life and I'll respond to you another time. You have a great day, evening, or night.